All right, it is cold outside. If you haven't stepped outside yet, uh, it might be a good idea. Stay indoors and bundle up. Um, makes you want to decorate for Christmas already. I know, I was just talking to a friend last night mm -hmm. about that. I was like, are you really going to hold off until after Thanksgiving? I don't know, with this cold air, mm -hmm. it's maybe like, you know, tea drinking, soup eating, <sighs> decorating. So comfortable. I definitely plan on decorating next week. I know, you already said you went to mm -hmm. uh, the Christmas warehouse. Yep. Yeah. That was uh, exciting and overwhelming <laughs> at the same time. So many people were there. But, yeah, you know. and uh, bundled up. So if you are going to be heading out, maybe looking at some uh, decor to decorate later in the week, it's going to be a bit on the cool side. Temperature right now of 41 degrees, but it feels like 33 when you factor in the wind. That's what's really making it feel cooler than the actual temperature. Okay, so here's a look at Fort Worth. We're looking at some cloud cover breaking up already. Blue sky overhead. It's not going to be consistent. Most of us will see the cloud cover a good portion of the day, but I think we'll see more sunshine today than what we saw yesterday, which was none. Temperature of 39 at DFW, but it feels like 32 uh, at the moment, and it's all thanks to this north wind anywhere between 10 to 15 miles per hour, but gusting up to 20 miles per hour at times. And our temperatures across North Texas, I want to show you this because this is cooler than what's considered normal. We're currently in the low 40s, upper 30s. A few of us already making that jump into that 40 degree mark with Terrell and Greenville both at 40 degrees, but even with that, it actually still feels like the mid to low 30s across a big portion of North Texas, and it's because of that consistent north wind. That north wind not going anywhere. Temperature still climbs to about 46 degrees at 1, 47 degrees around 3, and 49 degrees around 5, but it's going to feel like the low 40s for the afternoon. That north wind, like I said, consistent the rest of the afternoon and evening. We do make it to about 49 degrees at DFW, at Fort Worth, Denton, McKinney, 48 in Dallas. Some locations south of Interstate 20 could make it to that 50 degree mark, but I think there's a better opportunity for that come tomorrow and on Thursday with temperatures climbing into the mid 50s. Morning lows will still be in the mid to low 30s. Don't get me wrong. It'll still be a cold start to the day, but we may see a little more sunshine in the afternoon and that warms things up a bit more. Not for long. We have another front on the way and it's going to help drop temperatures back into the 40s Friday, Saturday, 50s on Sunday. So let me show you what's going on. We have this jet stream that's dipping pretty far south and it's not moving much. So that means a consistent area of low pressures in place. That's what we call a trough. And this keeps our north wind in place. And that north wind helps usher in some of this colder air from the north into north Texas. And it's also allowing for a front to come in Friday into Saturday. That's what brings our next cold blast. Morning lows will be in the 30s. A few locations may see the first freeze of the season sometime this weekend, but it stays dry. Rain coverage next week, though, I want to give you a heads up, looks to go up Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I'm thinking Wednesday is going to be the day that'll be most impactful. At the moment, it does not look like we'll see uh, any widespread rain, about 30% coverage. And I think if we see any rain on Thanksgiving, it's going to be early. This is still over a week away, so this is going to change. Keep checking back in with us, especially come this weekend, because that's when we get a better idea of how this system is going to impact North Texas. Winds on Thanksgiving out of the south, eventually out of the north at 10 to 15. Again, that's probably going to change, but that's just a good indication of what you should prep for next week if you are traveling. Until then, we're looking dry, just cold, cooler than normal across all of North Texas, at least for the next uh, 10 days. We are looking at, again, cold weather coming back over the weekend.